I think one of my first introductions to Elvis might have been the movie Lilo and Stitch back when I was a kid, very young, and that movie had came out, and uh, that was my first introduction to Elvis, uh, to my understanding, to my, my first recollection, I guess I could say, you know, that my parents might have played Elvis here and there then, or heard it on the radio, and I wasn't not necessarily cognitively aware that it was Elvis, but like the, the person of Elvis became very aware in uh, Lilo and Stitch, and you know, based, I'm assuming that movie was based in Hawaii. I don't remember if it was actually sent Hawaii. It's the Hawaii scene, right? Um, and that being said, here we have Live in Honolulu, 1973, Burn in Love. Classic, classic Elvis song. Very much looking forward to checking this out. If you're new to the channel, my name is Jacob Restituto. I'm a musician from Northport, New York, and today we're going to be checking this out. If you're not new, thank you so much for coming back. I appreciate you even more for coming back. Let's see what we got, Elvis. Classic, man. interesting i got a couple of takes on this first of all production is really great it, it sounds it sounds great especially for 73 live recording um performance wise i'm a little intrigued i'm curious you in the comment section always know so much information and always blows my mind so i appreciate uh hearing from you I, I this is in 73 um he was on like ed sullivan and uh the the um milton burl show in this the uh 50s you know, the 56, 57, you know, around that era. Um, in fact, I said in another video, my friend has on his arm 1957 uh, tattooed on him because he's a huge Elvis fan. He loves what Elvis did for the rock and roll industry, and he's just a classic. My friend is a classic uh, rock and roll, like uh, Ameri Americana rock, rock and roll. Um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like the, the Harley Davidson, kind of, it's called um, Rockabilly. The, the rockabilly genre he just loves it but that's all influenced by like you know elvis and what he did and 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 his 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 influence on rock and roll um actually the friend i'm referencing his name is joshua dialoso he and i have a track together called hold on to you so if you want to check that out that'd be cool but a point being um so this is you know 15 years into his career 16 years into his live performance career i'll say um or f famous career if you want to call it that and it's a little odd because it looks like he's a little nervous. Like, I would say he was having more fun and having more you just crowd banter and, and, and crowd interaction and just moving around more in his, you know, Ed Sullivan show or Milton Berle show than he is now. And he actually looks nervous, which is interesting. Like, he's not moving a ton. He's holding onto the microphone. It looked like, if I'm going to rewind it, it almost looked like he was playing with his hands. So I'm just curious. I don't, you know, I know... I, uh, a decent amount about his biography and, and his story and you know how his management totally screwed him over and and um his coping with drugs and, and everything so i'm curious you know i don't know where that plays into things and how that plays into things and um how contracts played into things so i'm curious I, i'd love to know you know maybe he's not maybe not maybe this was just normal performance and i'm just overthinking this but it doesn't seem like he's there's that same you know, childish spirit that that came about in in the fifties and sixties. So I'm, I'm I'm curious about your perspective. But look at his hand; like it looks it looks like like he's nervous. Self echo. So here, it, it definitely looks a little more playful, but it's still, again, pretty reserved compared to the Elvis that we saw, you know, on on TV. And, and I'm just surprised by that. You know, you, I, don't, I don't know if there's a reason if I'm overthinking it, if it's just this song doesn't call for it. You know, I mean, he's human, so he's allowed to perform differently. I'm just curious if there was more to the story that I'm missing here. I love that. Look at the binoculars. 
That's so cool. Big man. Yeah, like even the foot, it's just foot tap. There's not a lot of dance moves. So, again, you know, I'm just curious what's going on. It's coming closer. It's all work. Dynamic building. Call and response. Wow. Look at how they produce that. That's cool. The sound of like the, the backup singers sound like they're super far back uh, with the use of reverb and how they, they're like just dynamically building that with reverb. That's cool. Ace dripping. That go. See, like that's a little more of like the Elvis that I was expecting, but it just felt very reserved most of the, this performance. So I'm. I'm Really curious about that. So I'd love to know your perspective. Thank you so much for watching. Um, and, and and let me know in the comments. Let me know. I'm going to actually, after I finish uh, filming this, I'm going to go read the comments to see if I can you know, do a little deductive reasoning from the comments. But it did feel very reserved for the Elvis that I have been seeing perform. And just super energetic, super you know crazy dance moves and really great. I could see him running up and down the street, you know. So I believe he was like 42 when he passed away. Um, I don't know what year that was, but you know, if he was like 20, you know, in, in 76, this is 15 years. He's 35 here, give or take. Um, that's still very well able to move around stage. So I, I'm just curious in your perspective on, on on what you think happened, what's different, and the story behind it. You know, the backing. So thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments what you would like me to check out next. What your favorite performances? Hope you have a great rest of your day. God bless and peace out.